As we've been coding together in Scratch Junior, you've learned to do some pretty neat things. Today, I've given you a file with two scenes set up, and I want you to explore the commands that I'm giving you in those. Let's take a look. This first scene is a soccer scene, and I've got three characters. We'll notice that this first character, the all orange cat, starts with movement, makes a little turn, returns the movement. If we look at the blue headed cat, They've got just some movement back and forth. I've used the five value there. The soccer ball is where it gets interesting. The soccer ball has this yellow command, which shows me that when a character touches it, then this orange command that says move quickly, 10 in one direction, 10 in the other direction, and then return to where you started, just in case it doesn't stay the same. But then there's this other command over here. Take a look at it. See if you can figure out what it means and what it does. Over here in the underwater scene, again, I've got my cats. They're moving. One is moving slowly. One is moving quickly. And this one, the blue-headed cat, has a when you tap it, it sends the orange message. My crab down here has got, when you receive the orange message, reappear. Let's look back at this other code. When two characters touch is the first yellow one, and that's really what we're introducing today. So the soccer ball in one scene and the crab in the other scene both do this. It becomes smaller and then disappears. So. I will have this file sent to you. You should be able to find it in your projects under the home button. And that's where we're going to begin today. And then I'm going to ask you to create your own scene that uses that interact button where one character touches another. Have fun coding.